Welcome back children once again. This time you are seeing the second part of chapter 6 formulas and functions in MS Excel. Today we will be talking about two different things. They are cell reference and using math and text functions. The first thing that we are learning today is cell reference. Cell reference refers to a cell or a range of cells in a spreadsheet. By self-reference, you mean only a cell or a group of cells or a range of cells in a spreadsheet. This helps Excel to find the value of the data to be calculated by a formula. When you are selecting a range of cells or a particular cell, it helps Excel to find the value of the data that is to be calculated by the given formula. For example, cell C3 refers to the column C and row 3. I already explained during our Google Meet sessions that C3 means column C and row 3. MS Excel uses the following types of cell referencing. There are two types of cell referencing that you should understand. They are relative reference and absolute reference. Let me repeat one more time. Relative reference and absolute reference reference. Relative reference. Relative reference is used when you want to use the same calculation across multiple rows or columns. If you want to do the same calculation across multiple rows or multiple columns, then this is the referencing that you should do. I will make a demo video on this so that you can understand it very easily. For now, please understand, if you want the same formula across the columns or across the rows, then this is the referencing that you should use. That is, relative reference is what you should use. If you copy a cell containing a formula, the formula is also copied. If you are copying a cell which is having a formula, the formula is also copied to the cells that you are using. When you paste the cell in a different location in the spreadsheet, Excel automatically updates the cell reference of the formula. When you copy and paste it in a different location, it automatically updates the cell reference of the formula. The next one is absolute reference. Absolute reference is used when you do not want to change the value of a calculation when a cell is copied. To use absolute cell referencing, you need to add a dollar sign before the cell reference. For example, cell A1 needs to be represented as dollar A, dollar 1. If you want to paste the value that you have obtained in another column as it is, then you have to use absolute reference. Using math and text functions. You can perform various operations using data in a spreadsheet. MS Excel has various built-in functions for numbers and text. There are different functions that have been inbuilt for math and text functions in Excel. Now let's go through some common math functions in MS Excel. The first one is product. The product function multiplies all numbers entered as arguments to give the product. It always multiplies the group of numbers or the cells of numbers that you have selected in the argument section. The syntax is the way in which you have to write your formula. Equal to product in bracket range. That is starting argument is to the ending argument. So for example, if you want to find the product of a1 to A5, then you have to give equal to product in bracket, you have to write A1 is to A5, where range is the cell reference. Second one is round. The round function rounds off a numeric value to a specified number of digits. It is used to round to the specified number of digits. The way to give the formula is syntax is equal to round in bracket you have to write the cell reference then the cell that you want the number to be rounded off comma then you have to give the number of digits in which you have to get the rounding done where cell reference is the cell reference and the number underscore digits is the number of digits to round off the number 
Next one is sum. The sum function adds all numbers entered as arguments. It adds all the numbers that is entered as arguments. The way to write the function is equal to sum in brackets the range where the range is the self-reference. Trunk. The trunk function truncate a number to a specified number of decimal faces. It is used to change the number to the specified number of decimal faces. The syntax is equal to trunk in brackets self underscore reference comma number underscore digits. You have to write the cell reference number and then you have to write the number of digits that you need to truncate the number. Using text functions. Text functions are also used to manipulate text in cells. You can use multiple functions to manipulate the data in a cell. You can use multiple functions to change the data to your requirements. Commonly used text functions in MS Excel. These are some of the commonly used text functions. Car. Car is for character. Syntax is equal to car in brackets number. The car function displays characters based on the ASCII value. The number entered in the number field should be between 1 and 225. This helps to display characters based on ASCII value and the number field should be in the range 1 to 225. Left. The syntax for that is equal to left in brackets text comma number the left function displays the number of characters specified in a number argument from the leftmost character it displays that many number of characters specified from the leftmost character right the syntax is equal to right in brackets text comma number the right function displays the number of characters specified in the number argument from the rightmost character it displays the number of characters from the rightmost character text the syntax is equal to text in brackets text comma output underscore format the text function displays the text in a format specified in the output format attribute so it displays the text in output format attribute the last one is trim the syntax is equal to trim in brackets text the trim function removes extra space from the text and leaves only single space between words. It removes all the extra space from the text and leaves only a single space between the words. It also removes space characters before and after the text. With this, we come to the end of today's presentation. Please go through these things and understand the concept. Thank you.